If you just hit level 70 and have no idea how to gear up, you got to the right place. So, how do you gear up in the first week once you hit max level, even before the raids and mythic plus comes out if you're watching this video, before they are out? First, you should complete all the main and side quests and get Lore Master of the Dragon Isles. You will get a lot of items and many can get upgraded to epic quality, plus you'll get reputation and resources and some gold and you'll have a few decent pieces of gear from all of this. Next up, if you want to get to around 340 fast, you can buy a lot of blue 340 gear from the auction house for quite low prices. So if you have some pieces that are really bad, just buy a few upgrades or a new weapon to increase your item level a bit. Now that you are around 330 to 340, what I would recommend is to get into mythic dungeons and do the world tour of all the mythics as soon as possible. They are not hard and people should invite you since the game just came out, but if not you can just make your own groups for Mythic Zero. You can do some heroics first and complete their quests too for some 359 gear and the gear you get from the quest rewards, but then just go and jump straight into Mythics, that's what I did and I did them all in a few hours for the 372 epic gear. There are 8 right now with 3-5 to five bosses each so you will have quite a lot of chances to get some nice upgrades. Only after you are done with all of the dungeons, start hunting world quests. Do it after the dungeons because they scale, so they will give you higher item level rewards after finishing the ones that would give you an upgrade. Then works towards completing your weekly 4000 reputation quest, since it gives you a chest that guarantees an epic drop from it, as well as the hunts that appear all over the continent. The soup event quest also gives a weekly item, and the siege of Dragonbane keep also gives you an epic item per week. You can do the hunt 3 times for a chance at an item in each, and there is also the Trial of Elements event. I got pretty unlucky with those though, and I got items that I already had from dungeons. Next up, Rares. They also scale up, just like World Quests, but even more so, giving gear that is even higher than what you get from Mythic Zeros. So fly around and do every rare you encounter, or check them with an add-on like Handy Notes or Silver Dragon to see what they drop and hunt the ones that would give you good gear for you. You can also grind a few items. You'll see 100 groups that farm keys out of the Obsidian Citadel, this is for the Retian reputation, once you max it you can buy a neck and a pretty good cloak. Although this will take a long time to farm, you need to kill mobs around the area, get key fragments and key framings and turn them into keys and turn them in for some rep, as well as other items you can turn in and some quests around the zone, but it will take you a while to max it. Another place you can grind is the Cobalt Assembly in the Azure Span, that gives you a ring once you get enough reputation with them. It's a quite fun place to grind since mobs drop power-ups similar to Torghast and the mobs drop items that increase your rep with their faction. You will also receive a spark of ingenuity from the engine of innovation in the capital. You can use this alongside some primal chaos that drops from rares or chests or boss and all around and some crafting materials to craft yourself a good piece of gear. You get one spark per week and most items require one and weapons require two. If you don't have the profession to craft it yourself you can place a work order once you decide which piece you want to get, or you can also hold on to them to see what you get from your vault once Mythic Plus gets released, so you don't waste it and use it on an upgrade that is the worst item level piece you have currently. And then there are the vendors in the capital in Valdrakan. We got two PvP vendors, one that sells gear for bloody tokens, you get those from PvP world quests, from world PvP with war mode on, and from the supply crates that fall from the sky. Follow it where it drops and then the faction that claims the chest will be able to loot it for a few hundred tokens. Those items are 366 and it's quite easy to farm tokens if you fly around and pick up the chests. Then of course there's the honor vendor, gear starts at 340 but it can be upgraded 4 times Tracking and it scales quality. to over 411 in PvP already. And when the season started there will also be conquest gear here too. This bloody token gear will also be upgradable to 385 with trophies of strife once they start becoming obtainable. Apart from that, there are renowned items you can get from reputation at different ranks, those start at 376 and go to 389, but you will need 20 renown for those. And that's about every way to get gear right now. After the season starts, you will be able to get more from Conquest, from Mythic Plus Dungeons, from the Raid and the World Bosses, as well as the Elemental Invasion event that will drop Elemental Overflow that you can use to buy 350 gear that can also be upgraded with Trophies of Strife. But that's it for now, I hope this helped you, and have fun gearing up!